Welcome to Heart of Poland with the one and only Aria Martel. Good afternoon, Aria. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Well, let's thank each other at the end of this video because I'm a bit scared that you hate <laughs> me now because I did a video about the things you hate about Poland and I'm worried because it was a f there were a few jokes in there. So how much do you hate me on one scale of one to ten? Probably like twelve. Oh my god, so we're going to have to work for the next 10 or 15 minutes together. I admire your we professionalism. We need to work on our bond. We do, we do. We'll you know what? I just actually realized that we're doing this interview in English and I forgot to ask if we're going to be doing it in Polish or English. So oh really? Yeah, that's Amazing. Right. I love those moments, right? But that's good. I get to practice. I don't get to do that often anymore since I stopped vlogging um, in English, so. English language lesson? This is Aria exciting. Martel. I feel more comfortable doing interviews in English for some reason. Yeah, so which language did you learn first? Let's start with that. American English, because my mom, she spoke to me in English and my dad spoke to me in Polish. But I would say that I have more vocabulary in Polish because I grew up through most of my life in Poland. Aria Martel, which language is better to swear in, English or Polish? Well, uh, English is like, obviously, it, the, the bad words, they seem a little bit like lighter, N not as harsh, but in Polish, when you say a bad word, oh my God, yeah, that, that feel, you, you can feel the anger. So basically. if you were going to stand on something sharp, what language would you use to express your displeasure in? Polish. Interesting. Is that because you've just been here for quite a long time now, or you just think it's better? I don't know. For some reason, if I'm saying a bad word, it's usually in Polish. Yeah, Interesting. but don't don't make me say the bad words. Well, well <laughs> as we say, we, we'll see how the interview goes. Like uh, it, uh, it can be edited uh, later on. Uh, and and tell me, um, which language uh, do you feel more free in, English or Polish? Honestly, I feel uh, equally comfortable speaking Polish and English. English is definitely a lot more like laid back, relaxed, and I feel like I have a lot less pressure when speaking in English because when I'm speaking in Polish, I feel like I really need to think about, you know, to build these sentences in like a bogaty sposób, like a rich way. Yes, I, I guess. You know, because basically if you speak in a simple way in Polish, you just sound dumb. Unfortunately, yeah. So there's a lot more pressure. I feel like to be well spoke, well spoken, in Polish. Now I want you to imagine, Ari Martel, that you have been sentenced for crimes against uh, filmmaking. Hard for you to imagine. I know, right. being the established filmmaker you are, but you're going to be sentenced for a very long time for poor quality filmmaking, <gasps> and you're going to be locked in with someone Polish inside your prison cell. Now the two of you are going to be together for a long time, but you can pick your Polish cellmate. Who would you want to be in prison with? Oh my gosh. Probably Paulina Soboń. She's my colleague from Vaxy, the, the Polish, okay, now I'm forgetting uh, English words. Polski kanał Sękowy, the, how to say? Polish channel of Sękowy. So, so we, it's basically like a little uh, TV, uh, internet TV series. Um, and uh, yeah, she's one of my best friends and I have never gotten in an argument with her and we get along so well, we just have so much flow. So yeah, definitely with her. I hate to break it to Aria, but singing will be banned in the Polish prison I'm sending her to. So I think that would be a good echo there, the uh, acoustics. The other prison, actually, it'd probably be quite good for them <laughs> as they sop into their gruel. But it depends what kind of songs you guys sing uh, together. So maybe you could do a hit list. OK, um, where's the place in Poland that you should have visited, but you never actually have? Be careful now, because you're going to upset someone on the internet, Aria, again. Oh my God. See, this is my first interview where I don't know the questions, so I'm unprepared. Mm. <laughs> it, it's Szczecin, it comes I up mean, quite I a mean, lot. I'll give you a hint. I've never been to Szczecin, uh, but I, I feel like, I think it would be really cool to do a road trip around Poland in general, because I've been to a few of the main cities, but I never really like explored it. And I think this is such an exciting country. I know a lot of people might not think this way, but there's so much to see. So I, I would love to do a road trip and um, just uh, see the uh, also the not popular places and just like discover, you know, just go wherever I want. Yeah, man, it's all about turning up in some random roadside place and, and just talking to the to local people. Uh, Ari Martel, New York hot dog versus Polish gas station hot dog. You pick. New York. Oh, my God. I was not expecting that. Really? Well, I, I feel like the food in New York is really good, and, and Polish hot dogs, I don't know. Oh, well, I'm, hmm, I haven't eaten meat in six years. Maybe I shouldn't answer these questions. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a trick question. I actually have had the same opinion, which is the Polish gas station. I said the American word to make you more comfortable. I just feel like American fast food hits different. True. 
True. It's, it's just like, you know, a lot more unhealthy. Ari Martel, Krakow versus Warsaw. Again. Oh my God, you are putting me on the spot. You see, uh, a long time ago, I would answer Krakow. Well, yeah. I would answer Krakow because it's it's my home base and I love it. And I used to hate Warsaw. I honestly thought it was such a... I don't know, like the, the people, they made me feel uncomfortable. I felt like they were very self-centered and just minding their own business and very cold and not open. And the weather always sucked whenever I was here. So <laughs> I never thought that I would want to move here. But uh, thanks to good friends uh, from Vaxe, the channel that I um, am an actress on, uh, they really introduced me to this city in a great way. And I think it's really the people that make the place nice. And uh, ever since, they pretty much took me to the best parties and the best places. And I've, uh, you know, grew bonds with them. Is that, yeah, Dobrze Yeah, I think so. Okay, grew sometimes bonds. guys like uh, Polish, and English, uh, Polish and English get messed up in my head so and I'm trying to be all proper for the interview <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah so thanks to the people that I got to meet here I decided that I want to move here and um, this was the best choice that I could have made for myself and honestly I have been thriving ever since I've been here and I am living my best life and I'm doing so many things that I love doing and uh, working towards my goals and um, and honestly, Krakow's boring. I mean, I love it. It's it's going to be my uh, home base. So Warsaw, I think, is better for a young person that is trying to pursue their career, and it's a lot more exciting. Um, Krakow is amazing. It's definitely more beautiful because of the architecture, and it's got soul, in my opinion. And uh, Krakow is, uh, I think, better for just calm life, family stuff, or touristic stuff, or being a student. But guys, please don't hate me. These are just my opinions. Well, we are in the age of the internet, and I'm guessing you're wondering why Aria Martel would hate such a lovely person as me. Well, one day I saw a great video by Aria about the things she hated about Poland, and I was upset. I was furious. There was uh, spit and all sorts of things <laughs> dribbling out of my mouth, uh, but that's just normal. However, I would like to show you now just a brief uh, portion of that video so you can understand why Aria's gone from a 12 to a 9 or a 9 to a 12, probably from 0 all the way up to 12. So let's show that video. Things I hate about Poland. Okay, so number one, complaining. She's complaining about complaining. That is so Polish. People love complaining about politics. People love complaining about the educational system, the health system, their mother, daughter, husband, wife, about literally anything. That brings us to the next subject, which are older people, because they are the masters of complaining. Stay away from Babcia. If you're young, they call you a gówniarz. I never got called that by anyone. Actually, wait a minute. So the next thing I am not a fan of is Polish hospital food. What, you mean you don't like three slices of bread with three slices of bread to go in the middle of the three slices of bread? What's wrong with you, Aria? And we're back again. Aria, tell me about the moment when you saw my magnificent uh, roast of your roast, as it were. How did you feel at that time? Actually, when I saw the thumbnail of the video, because I had a few people send it to me. Did they? I. Oh. I was a little bit like, oh, what is this going to be? But whatever happens, happens. Because <laughs> I'm a bit scared of today's interview, right? Because I thought, I'm too British to do this. I'm like, I should, could have sent her a message and said, I'm so sorry for doing that. But of course, no, there's things I hate funny. about Poland. I, I liked it. I, 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 there's all sorts of things I hated. I, I found, I agreed with quite a lot of it. And then we were talking about the interview that quite a lot of Polish people agreed with it. Yeah, So is lot. it okay to hate Poland and love Poland at the same time? Can you do that? I feel like every country has their good side and their bad side. And yeah, that's basically what I was covering. Like, I love Poland, but you know, we also have some stuff that we should work on. And uh, this is also, again, my opinion, but a lot of people did relate, you know? But this is, you know, just like a lighthearted video. There's, there's nothing to take personally. Some of them are pretty sweet. Uh, there's not much hate in you. So, you know, it's kind of like intensity dislike to mildly dislike. So kind of where you are now as you look at me. Mm -hmm. uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> when was the last time you were back in the United States of America? Um, well, I was last time, Five years ago. Five years ago. Okay. And uh, wow, that's actually quite a long time. Did When you came back, did you find yourself being a foreigner there? You felt like a bit of a Polish person abroad? It's funny because uh, in America, I feel so European. 
uh, because I'm a little bit more distanced than the typical American. But in Poland, I am so American because I'm a lot more outgoing, open, and sometimes people just find it, I don't know, intimidating, weird. I, I don't know. Interesting. But that's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. Um, tourists and foreigners in Poland can be very annoying. Uh, Aria, who's more annoying, drunk British people in Krakow or loud American tourists in uh, somewhere else, let's say Warsaw? Don't even get me started. But probably the British drunk people in the city center of Krakow. Oh, well, not only. That was actually... I was trying to, I was trying to do the British that accent. That was so good. Uh, isn't it a little bit posh? <laughs> it, it was a bit, but that's an easy place to go to. Have you been a witness to drunken British tourists destroying Krakow? Yeah, unfortunately. Obviously, I have nothing against British people and, um, you know, uh, I, I'm not putting everybody in the same... That's not coming across in this interview. Right. Że nie wkładam wszystkich do jednego wora. I'm not putting, I'm not generalizing about everybody. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. But um, often British people, they come to Poland because it's cheap for them uh, to party and for like bachelor parties and stuff like that. So, you know, it's, uh, they go crazy. And I, I do not enjoy them being disrespectful and just like vomiting all over the main market square <laughs> and being really loud and just... Um, Rude. Thank you for saying them because I was getting the feeling that it, maybe she was talking about me. I've never done any of those things. Well, we've never partied. I don't know. I just all I do is I sit <laughs> and study journalism manuals about how to become a better journalist. Uh, no, I've never done those things. And anyone who's seen me in Krakow uh, doing anything, please forget. <laughs> That was not me. It was just another small British man with a little pot belly, uh, of which there are several. Aria, have you ever experienced anti-American racism in Poland? One of the common things that people say, unfairly in my opinion, is that Polish people are racist. It's, so it's kind of, you hear it quite often. Uh, do you, have you ever had that? Um, Go home, so American person. Oh, yeah. I feel like, uh, oh, you know when I experienced this? Uh, actually, when I used to go to school, whenever I would say that I'm half American, it, it, like the Polish kids, they would think that I'm like flexing, flexing and I would be like... Flexing? Uh, what does that mean? Showing off. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, and I, I would just like, I mean, it's a part of me. I can't really hide it. But uh, yeah, a lot of kids did not like me because of that, um, because they thought that I was showing off. Which maybe, maybe sometimes I was. <laughs> it, it is a cool thing though. In English, no. were you bored in English classes at school? It must have been. Um, yeah, I. Uh, that's why my spelling sucks because I would always feel like oh, I don't need to listen <laughs> because I can speak perfectly. And guess what? That was stupid because yeah. Now I I need a. I need to check uh, whenever I send a message in English to somebody. I don't know serious um, because I will make a fool out of myself and uh, you want to hear something funny actually when I lived in America because I have a good American accent people would assume that I'm also you know an American that has lived in America for most of their life but then when I wouldn't understand the slang they would think that I'm just stupid <laughs> so I, I, I can't imagine that. So it's uh, funny. So uh, tell me please Aria is there something about Poland which you think is not appreciated? I feel like, um, well, a lot of you guys might not agree, but I feel like Poland should be more popular and people should know more about Poland abroad, especially in America, because... Do you get angry about the way people talk about Poland? Uh, not really. I, I just find it a little bit funny and I just feel like they should read a little bit more. I mean, not everybody, but I don't know. I feel like uh, in Poland, we have such a good education that we know basics about most places. Go but the police treat this lightheartedly. There are a lot of uh, educated Americans that know a lot of things about Poland and in general about the world. But I feel like, yeah, we should, I, I would love for other people to know more about Poland and how, um, well developed of a country we are. I feel like uh, in many ways we are more even developed than America, um, which I thought I would never say. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, like for example, in America, I would pay so much for um, internet on my phone and it would work so-so and I would be uh, with with the best uh, yeah, uh, telecommunications company. And here in Poland, to, to have a working phone, it costs like, what, 15 
dollars a month and the internet is everywhere perfect yep. or I don't know like Craigslist uh, like that website it looked as if it's from like 20 years ago <laughs> and it's like one of the most popular websites and um, in, in Poland all the websites look really professional even like the 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 ones that aren't popular so oh. I don't know like and it's the just gas small station things. hot dogs are oh no no you said the worst that's okay so small right. things but um, I don't know just I, I could compare uh, or oh oh my god like uh, so many formal things take forever in America oh like especially like medical stuff oh my oh. god that's so frustrating and Poland um, except for like you know waiting for the doctor and stuff like that uh, it takes so much quicker uh, like through the si like the systems uh, the European systems uh, are just so much better in my opinion tell us a little bit about this uh, cool thing you're doing around singing at kids schools it's super awesome Oh, uh, thank you. Um, so I'm filming this TikTok series where I'm singing in front of schools in Poland. The channel that I'm an actress on, it's a, a school, school. school internet show. Yeah. Um, so a lot of young people follow me on my social media. And I uh, was inspired by my friend Paulina Sobon, who dances in front of the schools. Uh, I decided to sing in front of the schools. And the kids and teenagers, they write w in front of which school should I sing next. And it's really fun because uh, it's, it's quite a challenge. I get funny reactions when I don't know that somebody's inside of the school, like the director, uh, the principal. Oh, I forgot the <laughs> word. Um, and uh, or, or other people. So, yeah, it, it's fun. It's challenging. I, uh, I have huge issues with stage fright uh, after me being in Poland's Got Talent. Yes. And when, whenever I sing in front of somebody, I get extremely nervous. So this is very good practice for me. Um, so hopefully within time, I will be relaxed because it does affect my singing. Well, I can tell you now that Aria has a truly angelic voice and you can go and check her out on her channel, which is Aria Maltel on all available social media. Thank uh, you. You don't have a profile on MySpace. I'm still pretty active there, but uh, does no, that still we're, exist? we're from a different generation, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, and what she's doing with the schools is really awesome, actually. So maybe we'll come and sing in front of my kids' school. We can see if we can do that. So Aria, I started the interview by saying how much do you hate me for my roast. I'm a bit worried you're going to roast my roast and we're going to go into a wormhole, <laughs> a meta wormhole of roasts of each other. Uh, maybe we'll do one on what we love about Poland. Uh, might have to think quite hard about that. Where are you now on the hating Paddy scale? Because you come into the lion's den. We're this is at a three. Three out of ten. We have I'm, done some. I'm liking you much more. We, no, that's big. that sentence was bad. You're not supposed to say that. Inaczej się odmienia po angielsku. I'm beginning to like you a lot more. Beginning to like, whereas I was liking before. So it's gone in and out. But. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Harry, that's that's all we've got time for. But something tells me that there's a vlog out there for the karaoke uh, lovers out there. So maybe we'll get onto that. You have come into the lion's den of interviewing. There is no more intensive place. You had no advanced information about any of these questions, uh, and you passed, in my opinion, with flying colours. So you. ten out of ten for you, Harry Martel. Jishin's Jishin's rule. Thank you for having me, and I'm very happy that we met. And it's funny that we met through TikTok. We did. It's the power of the internet. So you know what you need to do, which is go and check out the Heart of Poland uh, channel everywhere you find it. it's on the firstnews.com which is the premier english language uh, news service culture history all the news going on in the amazing country of poland you will find over 100 even up to 150 fascinating interviews with fascinating people like Ari martel about the fascinating country of poland watch them watch them again watch them three times watch them in your sleep make sure you share them with your friend your dog your aunt your uncle and of course come back for more because we will see you again for another episode of heart of poland <laughs>